Steve Liebowitz for Wind News. We're speaking today with Professor Avram Diskin from the Hebrew University about the continuing popularity of Prime Minister Netanyahu despite all of the reports on the corruption scandal. Obviously, you know, it's a very political issue. It's quite obvious that people who were against Netanyahu because of political reasons, because of political affiliations, uh, would very much uh, like to have him first indicted and convicted uh, because they don't agree with uh, his, his uh, policies. And, uh, and the opposite goes for his supporters. You know, uh, we don't know what's going on. Uh, we have, a, you know, a hunt actually that lasts for many, many years, at least 2009. And uh, when people uh, feel that they are threatened, I'm talking about his supporters, we are threatened. You know, our leader, okay, the person who united the center right wing camp is under danger, and there is that sense of persecution, we have to stay behind him. Also, I think that uh, ordinary people uh, feel what uh, the politicians feel. You know, most of the partners in the coalition do not have an interest to have early elections or a change of leadership. Let me ask you about his options right now. Theoretically, he is not, does not have to leave office. Even if he's indicted, presumably, he could remain in office he sees the polls, he could call for early elections and even run as the leader of Likud while under indictment, is that right? The law is very clear about that, but uh, you know, the law is not uh, always followed by, uh, by the courts. The law is very clear, the law says only after a final conviction on a criminal case of a certain kind. Say a criminal conviction, final, by the Supreme Court, only then he must leave. Of course, he also must leave when he loses the majority in the Knesset. But that doesn't seem likely. Now, we had many, many previous cases where it was said in the law, the same thing was said about mayors, about deputy ministers, about ministers, and the court contradicted the law and said, no, they have to resign. In spite of the fact that the law says only after a final conviction, they have to resign. The case of prime minister is a bit different, okay? But we know the precedents. We know that the courts are not following the law. And already two um, uh, chief justices, Dorit Beinish first and Aaron Barak, said in public, once there is an indictment, you have to step out against the law. But that's, you know, we believe that that, which is problematic from, I would say, a democratic point of view. That really means that um, the attorney general can change the government, okay? Or even the, the police can change the government. 